Fast and Furious 8 is already targeting an April 14, 2017 release date, and we may now have an idea of what Universal is looking for as their next villain. According to Deadline, Universal is focusing their sights on landing none other than Charlize Theron for the role. Theron is obviously no stranger to movies with high-octane car action, having just started Mad Max Fury Road. Fast and Furious 8 is being directed by straight out of Compton Helmer F. Gary Gray. Schnepp, would you buy or sell Charlize Theron as the villain in the next Fast and Furious movie? Super buy. I love Charlize <laughs> Theron. I just got a chance to George Miller was in town in person. You went to that? Yeah, I went to that screening Mad Max Fury Road and then Road Warrior. There was a ton of people. Witness! What's up? <laughs> she's incredible. She's an amazing actress. She can do all her, all the stunts herself. She's, as you saw, I don't know if you ever saw Ian Flux. Not a good film, but she was awesome in it. She's an amazing actress. So to get her involved, especially to be the villain, is fantastic. I really hope they do this. Yeah, I buy it. I mean, look, I'm interested in seeing The Huntsman because she's coming back for that. Right, she totally, is right. incredible. But here's the funny thing. I'm not even really truly buying it because it's Charlize Theron, although I would buy it just on that basis alone. I'm really buying it because I really like the idea of Fast and Furious bringing in a female yeah, lead totally. villain. Because let's be honest, I, ever since Fast and Furious 4, I've, I didn't like the first three Fast and Furious movies, started to like it at 4, and then I fell in love with it at 5. But the Fast and Furious franchise has not treated women very well. I mean, they're secondary characters at best, just used as love interest or motivation for the or male. Or die and then they come back. Or die and come die back, and or come motivation back. for the male leads, totally. stuff like that. It would be really cool to see them step up. Now, if you're gonna get a female villain, Charlize Theron. I mean, come on, that is, would just be perfect. Look, it, according to the report, it's not a done deal, it's not a sign thing, they've just targeted her. But I think it would be a great role for her to take, yeah. and I think it'd be a brilliant move for them to get her on board. And I think she'd do great with F. Gary Gray as well, so for me, it would be a massive buy. Yeah. Christian? Who else could play my wife, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, I, it's, it's a big buy for me. I think that she is a tremendous, tremendous actress, and I also think she showed a lot of what she could do in, in Mad Max. Um, plus countless other roles, but th there's something in Mad Max to where she wa Furiosa was obviously was was the protagonist in that, even more so than Max. But I think that she also showed that she could get dark. Because in the beginning of that movie, it's like she's part of the she's part of the crew. She's part of the you know, she's been running like was the top guy's general, you know. Yeah. So to show what she's done there, and she played and in Prometheus, she was not the the nicest of people too. So she can hit and and like you mentioned with the Huntsman, she can go that route. So I'd love to see and for that reason alone, a female protagonist with that talent. Um, yeah. I think it's a big buy. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.